curtains fall. This is what is left of a universe plunged into eternal dusk. A lone tomb sleeps beneath the horizon at the end of time. That fateful day has passed and you rest in a false paradise. Something to replace a toony world that will never be seen again. Standing before you, the Infinisuite, a towering, vertically endless skyscraper that oversees your hazy resting place. You will climb, fight, seek out the summit of your slumber and re-enter the light once again! This magical structure is a catalyst empowered by your curiosity. Every encounter is surrounded by visions of the new worlds of Toontown. Every trial proves that you are alive and Catharsis will find you at last! You will withstand. You will open your eyes. You will see that future come true. An anomaly bruise rebellion against the fated void. Take that first step and challenge reality itself! And through this nightmare, you will keep on holding on. Tunes of the Horizon. This is the new world. These playgrounds, entirely original environments created from the ground up, represent an entire planet located in a once unseen galaxy on the far side of the Tuniverse. Featuring their own subsets of native toon species and a unique playful theme, each playground is part of a solar system that comprises the new toon town. Yet, one great obstacle stands in your way before you can truly experience these new worlds. The time has come to begin your introspection and find the light that will awaken you from the dreamscape. Welcome to the fourth installment of Horizon Talks, the official developer update and sneak peeks video series of our multiplayer fan game Toontown Event Horizon, currently in development. This September marks approximately one and a half years since the beginning of Event Horizon as a team project. Time sure flies by fast, huh? There's still a lot of development to do before we can begin considering public playability. And as always, we thank you so much for your patience so far. We at the team are dedicated to making sure the wait will be worth it, and we are doing our best to provide you with content and previews on the side to ensure there's always something to grab your interest. And now, we begin our introspection. The great, mysterious dreamscape that encapsulates Arc Zero is something we've been developing and waiting to reveal for a very long time. This is a pivotal point in giving our project its distinct identity, and we'll be showing you how it works near the end of this presentation. This episode is all about glimpses, looking to the future. So how about we start with a glimpse at ourselves? Welcome to Event Horizon's completely overhauled Make-A-Tune menu, a suite for you to create and fine-tune the tune of your dreams. When you begin your journey, your tune's appearance will be entirely randomized, and all options and tabs can be accessed with the click of the button. We have a lot of new customization features to cover, so let's go through them quickly. 
Toontown Event Horizon offers a selection of 35 total different tune species, each with a unique voice and appearance. All tune species heads have a variety of unique customization options to fit the bill. The original nine species from Toontown Online have also received a significant makeover to fit in with the game style, so be ready to try something new. In the top right corner, we've introduced a streamlined tune color picker to make your hues just right for you. The color picker allows you to adjust the color of multiple parts of your tune at the same time, including special details such as muzzles, horns, and feet. See that? Eyes and eyelids have been completely revamped, featuring a plethora of options for 2D hand-drawn eyelids complete with their own blink animations. You can also customize and color your pupils. Eyelashes, along with skirts, can also be selected as separate options with no gender restriction whatsoever. In addition to traditional paws, your tune can dip toe first into a pool of new pediatric options, including hoofs, talons, claws, and webbed and two-toed options. Ready to take the first step to a brand new look? We can't wait to see the creativity come out of the community as they create a tune that is true to them. Will you be attuned with the species hailing from one of the new worlds? Or will you stay true to the originals? Whichever you choose, you will have the power to be who you want to be. Before we get into the details of the higher-ups, let's shed some light on the department ladder. Overcogs are now divided into tiers depending on their over-level amount, and their suit design changes accordingly. These suits are back in black. If a cog is left standing for too long, their clocked-up meter will fill. If a cog becomes clocked up, watch out. Their attacks will become much more potent and every single attack inflicts a unique status effect when it hits. Time is of the essence. I have some bad news regarding our robotic foes. Unfortunately, we do not have any new specialists to reveal today. A new division of COGS has revealed itself. Generalists are equipped with special abilities that put them a step above your typical COG and up to two can show up in a fight at the same time. These cogs can spawn in building fights and boss fights under certain conditions, so be prepared to take them on at a moment's notice. The Pitchman. He's a master of marketing angles and is quick to get his associates in on his latest plan. Watch out for his deadly curveball. The Greenwasher. He seems to be a jolly square fellow, but he can be just as nasty as the rest. Able to wash down cogs of their debuffs, he'll use his specialty to keep up a clean fight. The Blame Stormer. He does not take kindly to slander, but he's just as willing to tarnish the names of everyone else around them. He'll take you and your team by storm if you're not careful. The Bondholder. He's a binding professional, wielding the power of various bonds that hold tunes accountable for other tunes. The Change Agent. They're a multifaceted bunch, switching between three faces with very distinct moods. Once she's set on an emotion, be wary of her passive effects if you decide to go after them. The stronger cogs known as specialists are instead delegated exclusively to their own battle instances. The backburner and a few new faces yet to be seen will be fought on their own with wild twists to combat that you'd best be prepared for when the time comes. Toontown Event Horizon is tailored for an expansive yet easy to pick up battle system that modernizes the classic turn-based MMO party style. Here are a few ways combat has been simplified. An automated battle predictor allows you to preview the Kong's health after everyone selected gags are played, including after effects such as combo damage, lure knockback, and damage reduction. No longer will you have to guess through a multitude of multiplication to dish out just the right amount of silliness. Speaking of gags, 
The gag panel contains eight levels of nine gag tracks, a total of 72 gags useful in your robot bashing journey. And what if we told you they don't miss? All gags now have a 100% chance to hit. Lure, drop, throw, you name it. As long as you aren't under an accuracy debuff, you're guaranteed to make your mark no matter what gag you throw into the game. We've removed some outdated mechanics such as the 95% accuracy cap and accuracy bonuses or commonly known as stunts. So keeping track of your prank's precision will be much less of a hassle and you don't have to worry about those pesky cog dodges. And of course, all gag tracks have been revamped heavily to fit this new system. In the near future, we'll be showing off some short clips on our social media demonstrating how these gag tracks will play out. Stay tuned to find out more. Dreamscape, a wondrous, expansive void that entraps you deep within your own core. It seems like there's no escape, no way to leave. But why would you need one? This is your home now after all, right? This is the setting of Toontown Event Horizon Arc Zero, Dreamscape. Quite a mouthful, huh? In the very beginning, this strange island floating in the empty expanse of your Toon's core will be the only area available to explore. The Infinisuite is the main structure and the great challenge of the Dreamscape. As its name suggests, it is an infinite building that compounds both Toon and Cog elements, a representation of the experiences in the past life of a Toon. You may notice that the mainland of the Dreamscape, a lone floating island surrounded by a great nothingness, does not contain a gag shop, nor does it contain an operational trolley. Your only choice in the beginning is to enter the Infinisuite's inviting elevator, seemingly empty-handed. You can bring up to three other tunes with you on an Infinisuite run. Inside begins the first vision. We find ourselves in Toon Lantis, a playground from the New World. A lowly cog appears before you and engages in battle, the same as you would expect with your traditional cog building entry floor. But this is only the beginning. You begin the run with a random gag build. Three tracks are selected for you, starting at level two. There's no gag experience to be gained or used in this scenario. Let's get to the cog crashing, shall we? Once you take out the cog, the floor is completed and you receive your rightful reward, an instant level up to one of your gag tracks, ready to be taken to floor two. The same thing happens here. You fight a slightly stronger group of cogs and your power grows the same. You scale your way up the Infinisuite, picking up all sorts of boons and benefits along the way. Laugh boosts, gag tracks, powerful hollow cards, but the cogs too grow stronger in their efforts to stop your climb. Every five floors, you must face off against a powerful generalist in order to claim victory and step into a new vision of the future. And should you face defeat, lose all of your laugh, and become saddened, you will find yourself once again in the depths on the surface of that false playground. Your progress too becomes a fading memory as your entire inventory, your laugh, and gags all return to the very beginning. But all of this happens in much less than a single day, and you're ready to go back in whenever you want and start that climb again. If this type of challenge sounds familiar to you, it may be exactly what you're thinking. The Infinisuite is a roguelike. 
Rewards for a bountiful climb are planned to ensure each run brings you one step closer to the top. And finally, the Dreamscape will eventually be a host to other dreamlike challenges, also sharing that pick up and play nature. What lies behind these doors depicting a world past? Hey everyone, I'm Buck, the creative director and one of the lead staff members of Toontown Event Horizon. We're almost at the end of our introspection, so let's finish off with some closing remarks. The plot of Event Horizon is divided into major story arcs expanding through the future, and Arc Zero is a preliminary stage of the game's story. When the player is finally able to escape the dreamscape, they will immediately find themselves in a story-driven scenario in the new worlds filled with entirely original places to explore. The dreamscape will still be available to all players regardless of story status. From the beginning, even before the beginning, Toontown Event Horizon was always intended to be more than just another revamped recreation of Toontown Online. Of course in the past this was very hard to express without further development progress, but the idea that Event Horizon would be just another Toontown revival really just feels like one big red herring at this point. We are geared into making a fully fledged, entirely original fan game that acknowledges Toontown Online as part of its history, and our dedication throughout the past 18 months and our presentation today is our living proof of that. Of course, there already exist several fan made revivals of Toontown Online standing today many of which our staff and myself have played and gotten a lot of inspiration from. To put it simply, we would not be even close to this point without their amazing work. This community is a collection of so many unique creative visions, and all of us together put so much into keeping this community alive. I encourage everybody who is watching this to support these projects as well. And now, it seems we've come to the end of our introspection. Our Discord server is linked in the description for future discussions and previews, and we'd love to have you as a part of our little hub in the Toontown community. We're always looking for talent to help our team grow, and applications are available on our website if you want to contribute to this project. Thank you all for watching this Horizon Talks, and remember, you will keep on holding on.